Oh my fucking god! Shit. Uh, okay. What the fuck just happened? Okay. Okay, so I want to get, like, a really early reaction on this because, like, I'm still, like, so hyped. Like, my heart is pumping because fucking boom. Legend! Let's fucking go! I've never gotten Legend before. This is a random ass video. I don't even know if I'm gonna post it, but I just hit Legend. Like, I got my younger brother's reaction. I got my initial reaction. I got Legend. Um, I played Murloc Paladin pretty much, and then... Don't hate me, but I played Pirate Warrior for like my last two games, but that's it. And the rest was Paladin. Sorry, I'm holding the camera like a total idiot. But I'm so happy. Let's fucking go. I don't know if you guys care about Hearthstone, but I've been wanting to get Legend for like... Since I started playing, which was like 2015. So it's been like two years that I've been trying to get this. I've never really grinded hard like I have this season for it. But there's only like two days left in the season, so I didn't think I was actually going to get it. But I went on like a six game win streak at the end to... Fucking clinch legend. I'm 7,274. I know it's not like that great because like, that's just my placements. But holy shit, I'm so happy. <laughs> Josh, I got legend. I got legend. I got legend. I got legend. Good for you, buddy. I did it. That's so impressive. And four. I've won like five in a row to do it too. I'm so fucking hyped. Right. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm you filming your this. reaction too, by the way. All right, guys, so it's been a few days since I hit that legend rank, and I just wanted to make this a video and basically show you guys the deck I was using that pretty much got me to top five, and then the deck I went on from there with, or decks, I should say. Um, so the initial deck I had been running um, up until about rank four or three I want to say is this uh, more mid-range controly type paladin murloc deck um, it's kind of like the murloc variation that you see that I also used which I'll be showing you later but this one's got more of a late game with uh, the curator primordial drake rag light lord and Tyrion. Um, I have the more aggressive list that I will also show you guys that do not include uh, most of these cards here, same thing with Ivory Knight and Spike Ridge Steed, which, by the way, Spike Ridge Steed, I'm just going to basically say this thing carried me uh, to the top five. This card is pretty insane. Um, if you guys are playing Paladin and you don't have Spike Ridge Steed in your deck, I don't know what the fuck you're doing, um, but it's just amazing. So make sure you run this in pretty much every Paladin variation that isn't aggro. Um, so yeah, you guys can take a look at my deck list here. I'm by no means an expert craftsman. I usually net deck, like I'm pretty sure I net decked this one. Um, but if you guys are curious, um, I also have gold Tyrion. I crafted that because Tyrion is my favorite card in the entire game. All right, and this is another variation of the Murloc deck I had been using. Um, about after I got to the five and four range, I started switching things up a little bit. Um, so this one focuses more on the early game with cards like Grimscale Chum and Murloc Tidecaller. I also got Blue Gills, and this deck includes Finja, which the last one did not. Um, I cut one Spike Ridged, I cut uh, Ragnaros Lightlord, a couple other cards here and there, but this is just a more mid rangey slash aggro list. You include Blessing of Kings, um, War Leaders, cards like that. A Hydrologist, by the way, is kind of like Spike Ridge Steed. You should probably be running it in every single Paladin deck you're playing. Because this card is just, it's pretty good. I don't want to say it's the new mini bot, but it's the new Paladin turn two play pretty much every game. Turn two or three, which is the nice thing about it, because if you play it on turn three, you can play it along with the secret you get from it. And then this is the third and final variation of Paladin that I had ran this month from the start of rank, wherever I started at, like 20, 19, 18, something like that, up until about rank, or pretty much legend, I guess. I played this pretty much the whole way. Um, up from like rank three onward and this is the most aggro list out of them all it includes cards like steward of darkshire to combo with murloc tidecaller and bilefin bilefin tidehunter um, and you include grimscale oracle which i'm not going to say this is an auto include card into the aggro decks because it's probably one of the weakest links of the deck um, this guy's kind of just an alternate turn one play if you happen to not have the other three. I haven't mentioned this card yet, but Gentle Megasaur is pretty much like one of the biggest 
win conditions of all three of these decks I've showed you guys. You fill your board up with Murlocs, you play Gentle Megasaur, and you get them all with Divine Shield or plus three attack, and you just win the game from there. Super crazy card. Um, probably one of those underrated cards in this expansion, because I'm going to say that this card is just totally insane, and you're going to want to be playing it in every single Murloc deck. Now, since this one's more aggro, you cut the Tyrion. This deck is the one deck I didn't have that didn't have Tyrion, sadly, because I love Tyrion. I'm sure you could maybe throw him in there and replace for, like, one Divine Favor or something. But if you're wanting to be aggro as possible, turn 8 usually isn't too common anyway. Um, however, I still run Sunkeeper Tarim because, man, oh, man. This is, like, my favorite legendary in the new expansion, I want to say. Sunkeeper Tarim is, like, an insane card. I also want to say he's pretty underestimated when the expansion first came out. Buffing all your 2-1s and 1-1s and uh, your 1-1 one -one Murloc uh, recruits from Vilefin is just so good. This guy is an include in pretty much every Paladin deck as well. So basically, I pretty much just played Paladin all the way through this season. Um, however, I will just say, like I mentioned in my vlog portion of this when you guys saw my initial reaction, I did happen to play a couple games with this uh, Pirate Warrior list. Uh, mine's a little bit different than most in that I run Hungry Crab instead of the Galaka Crawlers. Um, I only played this deck for probably like four games the whole season, but just so you guys know exactly what decks I played, I did not want to leave it out. It's a typical scumbag Pirate Warrior deck. Um, but I found Galaka Crawler was usually just a dead drop on turn two. I know some people play it, kill like their 1-1 for a 1-1 buff after they attacked, or it, to counter the other... Uh, pirate warrior but in the higher ranks i actually didn't see too many pirate warriors and i was seeing more murloc paladin decks so i cut the glockas and threw in some hungry crabs so yeah guys that's my first time ever hitting legend those are the decks i used um drop a thumbs up if on this video i know it's not usual for me to upload hearthstone anymore to my channel but i just had to make a video on this because i hit legend and i am so stoked i'm probably be going to be going for it again next season the season after that i'm sure probably using different decks though because after playing so many games with these they do get quite boring after a while um that's gonna be it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one